and God bless you guys. I have a, or they have a uh, radio, Christian radio station in my city. Now, they used to play these two pastors, famous pastors, on this radio station. They have clips of them every day. They're pretty much the only pastors that they had on them, on this radio station. And these two pastors were James McDonald and Rabbi Zach Rive. Now, James McDonald, I remember I used to listen to him. I used to think, why do, why am I so not liking his voice? Like, what is about this guy's voice that I just, it's just annoying me. It's like this arrogant, vain, know-it-all. You just, I'm just this getting this vibe of an arrogant, vain know-it-all. And later on, he, he preached, or he had this one sermon, he said, you know, these people that are coming against church leadership today, he goes, these people are train wrecks waiting to happen. He goes, just step back from the, step away, step away before the train wreck, because you're going to see it happen. And I thought, huh, sounds like he's cursing people that are just trying to come and question the conduct that's going on in leadership because it's not lining up with the word of God and instead he's putting this omen on them and causing the congregation to curse them and putting he's basically doing like a witchcraft spell on them that's that's what these guys do a lot of the times and as we all know he was the guy he was he was the train wreck waiting to happen his misconduct was the one that got him fired. His own church fired him for the misconduct that he was bringing to the table. That he was showing who the true wolf in sheep's clothing was. And who did the wolves warn the flock about? They warned them about Christ's true sheep. His true sheep. They want goats. They don't want sheep. They want goats. And so that was James McDonald. That's what happened with him. Rabbi Zach Rice, he was another guy who seemed to have great eloquence and speaking ability and ability to argue God's truth and make atheists look foolish. Wherever he went, he was a great speaker and he had great ability to debate and uh, pull the word of God out and debate atheists and guys like that. But as we all know, he did not apply God's true heart to his own life. He did not die to himself. He had this gift that was very good. And if he would have used it properly and lived the life of Christ, he would have been able to be used for God in God's kingdom in even greater ways but instead he was proven to be a sham after he died he was a complete sham he completely went downhill and became a wolf he hurt so many people he hurt his sister-in-law in such a bad way he hurt all these women he did wicked things and he did not repent he did not come clean like david did david came clean he went the other way these guys could have these guys could come clean and go the other way, but they choose to not do what David did. David listened to the prophet that came to him. James McDonald cursed the prophet that came to him. Cursed the prophets that came to him to warn him of his conduct and tell him to turn, but he did not listen. Instead, he became the, tr the train wreck that imploded in on itself. And this is a warning today. You know, the church isn't discerning anything. They're putting these pastors that are complete wolves up as their spokesperson for the gospel they plant them all over the radio stations and these are the guys who turn out to be complete wolves you got everybody everybody's falling down today you got mike bickle falling down you got um todd bentley who is just despicable in his actions these people are falling down and these are the people that they're telling i remember john kilpatrick and steve hill went to todd bentley's church and they 
they said, this is a true revival. This is a man of God, blah, blah, blah. Because we came and told you, now you can actually come to this church. They just went there to prove how great they were and that they wanted to have some kind of part in this whole thing. They didn't have a clue what they're talking about, obviously. And Todd Bentley was com- was exposed to be a complete and nasty wolf. One of the worst wolves ever to hit the pulpit. And so, today you got all these guys being exposed. And the church can see it with their eyes. Plain as day. And yet, no churches are repenting. Nobody's coming and seeking him with his with their with their hearts seeking his face with their hearts so that it can heal the land why why is this not happening it's because the people want their ears tickled they surround themselves with teachers that tickle their ears and they won't listen to true doctrine they won't listen to it they won't listen to Christ's true doctrine today says in the Bible they will not put up with it so I pray for revival to take place revival in these churches that have been deceived you've been deceived today everything is being exposed your whole gig is up God is calling you to repent you got nothing it's time to get what Christ has for you total restoration healing revival outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Bring it on. Please, somebody listen.